it's bunnies and welcome back to another video so today my dog just came right here. So today I'm going to be doing something super different and I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I whiten and maintain my teeth, which I know might sound like a really weird topic to discuss, but it's probably one of my most frequently asked questions other than like what my ethnicity is. I think those are like my top two questions that I get all the time is like, how do I whiten my teeth? How did I get them this white? How do I keep them so white? Why are they white? <laughs> so I thought I would do a video after about two and a half years of constant questions about my teeth uh, to help you guys. If you guys want to maybe whiten your teeth or know how I whiten my teeth and maintain my teeth, that way you guys can know like my little tips and tricks. I'm also going to be telling you guys some stuff I don't use that I didn't really find useful when I'm trying to whiten my teeth. So I hope you guys like this video and find it helpful in any way, shape, or form. I think even the smallest bit of help it still helps. <laughs> so I hope it can help you guys in, in some way, shape, or form. Everything I'm going to be talking about for the most part, you guys can find at like Walmart or your local grocery store usually. So if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you new, hit that sub button with your bunny paw. To start off, I've never had my teeth professionally whitened. Like, I've never had Zoom or anything like that. The only thing I have ever had done is I worked at a dental office and I had white trays made for me with, um, there you can get like these gel syringes that go like whitening gel that goes into the trays and you put them in your teeth or in your mouth and they're molded to your teeth. Um, and I've only used those twice. So that's the only type of professional whitening I've ever had done. And to be honest, I find that the store whitening that I do is more effective than those. I didn't really care for the like gel whitening from the dentist's office to be totally honest with you guys. If you guys find this video informative and you guys like it and want me to do another video like this of some sort, <laughs> comment down below is something that you'd like to see me do. This is just stuff that I've picked up and learned. I'm not a dentist or an expert when it comes to teeth or dental health or anything like that. I just have picked this up my entire life after like trying products that have worked and haven't worked. I haven't whitened my teeth for probably like two months, three months maybe with an actual like whitening strips or anything like that. So it's been a while since I've whitened my teeth. Just so you guys know, I didn't like just whiten my teeth and I'm making this video. It's been a really long time. So the first part of the video I'm going to get into are the tips that I've used. What the heck is it? <laughs> the tips. The, the tips. The tips that I've used uh, to help me maintain a whiter smile. My first tip that I would say uh, for helping my smile is flossing. I know when I say that everyone's gonna be like, click off, click off, no, <laughs> flossing, no. I know, and flossing can be a pain in the tush and I hate it, but I would say that when it comes to whitening my teeth or keeping my teeth white, flossing I think is one of the most important steps. But when you think about it, like if you have stuff like gunked up in between your teeth like plaque or tartar and it's just sitting there and then you're like whitening your teeth and you're brushing them, you're just like whitening on top of all that tartar and all that stuff versus actually removing it and then whitening, if that makes sense. So I noticed that when I am consistent with flossing my teeth, they look a lot whiter. So when I first started flossing, I hated it and I was like, I'm never gonna be able to keep up flossing my teeth. I talked to my dentist and or my, my hygienist and she was like, anything is better. And I was like, well, what about those little flossers that you can like get, like you know, that you can carry on in your purse. And she was like, anything is better than not flossing. So I went to the store and I got these. These are just like the small little flossers that you can get that look like this, that you just like go in your teeth, basically. And um, I used, when I first started flossing, I would use a whole bunch of these um, in like one sitting. So I did use a lot <laughs> because I got, I was weird about like putting it in between all my teeth, like one thing, it just kind of felt really gross. So I would go through a lot when I first started flossing. This is how I started flossing and even got used to flossing. So if you're not one to floss, you don't like it, I would definitely try something like this maybe. Um, because when I floss, I would always cut off the circulations in my fingers because I didn't know how to floss. <laughs> so I hated it. The second tip I would say, <laughs> everyone's gonna laugh at me and everyone always laughs at me when I do do it, is using straws. And maybe this doesn't help at all and it's just all in my head, but I feel like this has helped me so much my entire life. I've always used straws when drinking anything dark, whether that's soda, energy drinks, <laughs> um, juices, coffee, anything like that. I've always tried to use a straw. More recently, I haven't used a straw as much because I've been drinking tea. And I don't know, for me, tea and straws just are weird, so I don't do that. But other than that, I use straws for everything I drink. That way it doesn't get like on the front of my teeth and it's not like going. People will look at you and be like, are you using a straw for your monster? And I just am like, 
yep <laughs> so no shame because i feel like it helps me from staining my teeth i also try to cut back on eating foods that are like really pigmented in color so like pasta sauces <laughs> wines everything like that i try to stay away from and avoid just because i would rather just save my teeth and the stainage <laughs> potential stainage from there so those are my two top tips that i've implemented like as long as i can remember and i think that without those two tips my teeth wouldn't be nearly as white as they are now let's go on to the products that i use and that i've used while whitening my teeth and like my little, you know, life teeth journey. <laughs> I probably started whitening my teeth around the age like 13 or 14. Yeah, I think I was like 14 because I had braces. So I started whitening my teeth right after I got my braces off. I never really cared about like my teeth whitening before I had braces, but once I got my braces off, I was like, I'm gonna have nice teeth. So I started whitening them and I started off by using um, five minute whitening. And you can get this at Walmart. I will have a picture somewhere on the screen for you guys, but you can get it at Walmart. And it's definitely more um, cost friendly, I would say. It's definitely what started me and helped me get my teeth like a little bit whiter that definitely helped and my mom still uses that actually till this day she still uses it it comes in a box and it comes with like a little spongy blue mouthpiece and then a whitening gel and you put it in you leave it in for like five minutes and it's supposed to whiten your teeth and it does it definitely helps i found that it works now is it going to give you like as white of teeth as like crest whitening strips or something like that maybe not as dramatically white teeth but it'll definitely help you the second whitening product that I use are crest whitening strips. I've lived by crest whitening strips. I had the first ever crest whitening strips in the really light blue ugly box that was like, I think it was like 30 bucks when they first came out. And then as the brand starts seeing, I guess, more success in the whitening um, area of their products, they expanded their line to a whole bunch of, I think there's like maybe 10 different like whitening strips now. I find success with any whitening strip from Crest for the most part. I do stay away and I suggest that everybody stays away from the one hour uh, anything that takes one hour to whiten your teeth. There are like one hour express whitening strips, which I have tried and I did not like those at all, but I will get to that later. You don't have to pay for like the $70 ones or the $60 ones, even like the $30 ones, I think still work really, really well. So any crest whitening strip for the most part, that's what I use. When I go to the store, I literally just grab whatever, whatever it is there, I don't care. Unless I have like an event or something like that that I'm going to that I'm trying to prepare. So crest whitening strips for me are the way to go. Those are the two things that I've whitened my teeth that are actually like teeth whiteners. Now let's get into the toothpaste <laughs> that I use. So for my toothpaste, I've always used a crest whitening toothpaste my as long as i could get one i've gotten one this was one of the toothpastes that i've always used and this is something that i don't really find success for anymore um now when i use crest whitening toothpaste i try to stay with their 3d white toothpaste because i feel like this doesn't really work for me anymore like i almost feel like this is just regular toothpaste for them now and then they're whitening like a 3d whitening toothpaste is almost like what this used to be i don't know if that makes sense or more of a whitening toothpaste so i use their 3d whitening toothpaste and more recently i discovered a new toothpaste that i feel like has definitely stepped my game up and that is going to be <laughs> this bad boy right here this is the colgate optic white and i got the high impact white four shades visibly whiter and i think that this has definitely definitely whitened my teeth i just got this maybe like a week ago and i feel like they say you're supposed to see results within like three days and i do feel like this has definitely um shown <laughs> some results i do feel like my teeth are a lot whiter than what they were to me they were looking a bit dingier i guess just not as white and i definitely would recommend this to you guys i think that this definitely works i would not recommend this those are the two toothpastes that i use to keep and maintain my teeth white now into the things that i don't like and i don't recommend from trying things out i don't recommend crests one hour whitening toothpaste or what the heck <laughs> whitening strips uh whether that's the one hour express or the like there's a few different ones that chris says to keep on for an hour and i don't recommend those because i've been whitening my teeth for a really long time and when I use the one hour express or the one hour whitening strips, I find that the next day it's almost like intolerably, I'm intolerably sensitive to anything. Um, I get like shooting pain in like my teeth and it's just, it's almost like if anyone's ever had braces, it almost feels like when you have braces on like for the first day or like the next day, you're just so sore and like you don't want to eat, you don't want to drink, you just like want to 
go to sleep the whole day. So for me, I wouldn't recommend those because of that one reason. I think that it might seem nice to be able to like whiten your teeth once a week or once every two weeks with the one hour one, but I feel like I would much rather uh, do a daily one or every other day one with less pain. And then also, the toothpaste that are like these from Crest, I don't really recommend the like baking soda and peroxide whitening ones um, because I just, again, I don't feel like they really work how they used to. I definitely think that if you wanna go through a whitening toothpaste, I would go for the 3D white, even though they are a little bit on the pricier side. If you want a whitening toothpaste, you're, you want to whiten your teeth and I feel like paying the little like extra dollar for something that works is definitely better. So I would recommend something like this or the 3D whitening toothpaste. So guys, that is it for my video of me kind of telling you guys my tips and tricks, how I keep my teeth white, how I maintain them white, what I use. I know this wasn't the most exciting video, but I hope you guys liked it and I hope that maybe it can help you guys if you guys are trying to get your teeth whiter or maintain your smile or anything like that. If this helped you in any way, shape, or form, sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And if there's some tips, tricks, or products that you use that you would really, really recommend, comment them down below. Below. Sharing is caring, so I would love to hear what works for you guys. Uh, so that maybe if something that I recommend doesn't work for somebody, maybe they can go in the comments and see stuff that works for other people. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and uh, yeah, bye.